What does everything that I've been writing down even mean in comparison to the fiery carriages of God? Bright and shining in every single way, God. Holy, incredible every single day, God. Forget the statistics and every single day odds. This more, this much more than the eye can see. My spiritual walk is starting to look like the Odyssey. I'm fighting all these sirens and giants to be a prodigy of Jesus. He's salvation, away the truth, the life, Jesus. He died, he died, no one can match his might, Jesus. The ultimate sacrifice to show us what's right, Jesus. The only way to heaven and eternal life, Jesus. Don't forget to mention that he's the one that will meet us. You gotta come see this. You gotta believe this. Mark 10, 45, church, you gotta come read this. He's the one you need when you're desperate, broken in pieces. The devil's on a mission, strategies to deceive us. In the moment I give in, it's like, Sometimes I'm scared and I care too much what people think. So I shrink my voice so as not to be heard as if each word created further dissension, not to mention negative attention to my relationship with Christ. Like subject to a life of contemptuous and dismissive language or behavior. The reaction that I get when I tell a non-believer of my savior. Mockery and laughter, derision and satire, jeers and scorns at my king who wore a crown of thorns. Like how can I be so naive to believe and men who perform miracles like parting the Red Sea or in the Sea of Galilee where Jesus walked to the three. But since when did their opinions matter to me? If you live for people's approval, then you will die from their rejection. Imperfection is beauty. So I'll check the mirror, gaze at my reflection. I'll tell you what I see. How will I fare in eternity? Will I hear well done when he turns to me? Or will I hear my son? Why have you turned from me? But here in this place, you're surrounded by his grace. Your shame is no more, it was left at the door. Far from perfection, but with eyes gazed in his direction, he promises me a life full of endless protection. Whenever I'm at a loss, I turn to the cross, because regardless of my shame, he will still love me the same. Where you have been is not where you're going, but if you feel you're sinking deep, just remember to keep rowing. Stop holding on, you've been set free. It's time for your life to be made beautiful through our savior who died on that cursed tree. Surrender who you are for who he is. Your past has no hold on you, it is dismissed. Romans 8.38 says no mountain, no valley, no fear, no sin can separate you from God's love that is burning within. I am unashamed to love Jesus because he was unashamed when he died for me. A love never ending regardless of what my sin may be. So I popped my head out of a hole like a -a whack-a-mole. I got bopped on the head then back down with the blackened soul. The world was moving fast and I was acting slow. Actions speak much louder than words, that I know. Now I'm trying so hard not to mask the flow or break the rhythm like I did when I was drowned in dope. But I was bound by rope that pulled me out of a deep hell. Now it's the sound of hope that is helping me sleep well. See, back when we fell, cheap talks what we sell, but Christ paid the price. No stocks, no retail. No tags on the cross, no monetary status, no solitary walking, cause my God never dashes. See, it's the fire of God that helps me spit flames. People picture themselves in heaven, but still wanna split frames? You wanna admit change? We'll start to list claims, cause the winning streak starts when you pick the king's name. So I'm serving eternal. So I'm serving eternally to keep myself on a trail. Wielding a sword with every word to show that I won't fail. Cause sometimes we're the hammer, sometimes we're the nail. But my Lord's familiar with them both and still he prevails. Now I'm bailed from hell with a story to tell of what he's done for me. With a broken heart I was torn apart but he would never run from me. No more time to be pointing blame. The lion's already tamed. Dark cloud over your head, let him pull you out of the rain. Blood, sweat, and tears to help suppress the pain. We endure everything for the sake of his name. Second Timothy 2 8 says to remember Jesus Christ, who died not in vain, for which we are suffering to the point of living in chains, bonded in shackles, still living in pain, but, but to, to live, live is Christ, Christ and to die, die is gain. So let us live up to what we already attained. His power sustained so we can remain to explain that we are thankful for the gospel of Christ, because we are. Unashamed. Unashamed.